Well, hello humans. I am very excited about today's video. As you probably saw from the title, this is a makeup unboxing. The Corpse Bride is actually one of my favorite movies of all time. Um, not just like Halloween or like spooky themed movies, just literally of all the movies, it's in my top five. Anything that I see that is themed after Corpse Bride, I will buy it. <laughs> I'm no not even kidding. I don't think that this video needs much more of an introduction, so we'll just go ahead and start opening the makeup, and I'm really excited about it. This is the box that it actually comes in. It's a little present. Um, it does say in the corner, Corpse Bride. I do think it's kind of cool that it looks like the ribbon goes all the way around the box, but it doesn't. So I will let you look first, and hopefully things are in a presentable location, because there's some things sliding around in there. Okay. Oh, what is this a sticker? Oh no, this is a little card. So Scraps is the little card and it says everything that's on there, but I'm not gonna read it because I wanna be surprised. Oh, and then on, on the inside of the lid, that is so cute. Oh my God, I love this packaging. <gasps> this is gorgeous, guys. Absolutely beautiful. I'm already obsessed, oh my God. Okay, I wanna see what these little tabs are. There are things underneath. There are things underneath. So if I take this first layer off, um, that's what was rolling around. I'm already excited for the second compartment. I'm just gonna like throw these back in here without looking at it so I don't like spoil it for myself. I'm pretty sure I'm putting everything in upside down. That would probably be like the most likely thing for me to do. The first thing in here, this looks like a lipstick, but the packaging is really pretty. It does, what does it say on it? It's really hard to read because of the shade of blue. Oh, can the living marry the dead? That's what it says. And obviously this is meant to replicate the ring, the engagement ring. <gasps> Whoa, okay, this surprised me. This is like a very clear, like is this a, like a chapstick or like a top coat of some kind? What is this? A lip balm. Okay, so it is like a chapstick. That's interesting. I kind of know this when I buy like makeup collaborations like this. Um, I'm probably not going to use most of the products. So this is something that if it, to be honest, if it was a lipstick, I probably would use it. But the fact that it's a lip balm, it's definitely just going to be a display piece. There's no design on the top, so I don't feel bad like swatching it. Oh, it does come off clear. Okay, I was wondering if it was going to have a blue tint or like a sparkle or anything, but no, it just feels like a standard... Like regular lip balm. So next we're gonna do the little three, I don't know if these are highlighters or individual eyeshadows. So the first one is little scraps. It's so cute. Does it have a name on it? Underworld, Underworld's the name of the shade. So I'm, I think that these are individual eyeshadows. So this is just like a silvery glitter. It's kind of a smoky gray. There's a lot of glitter in it, but to be honest, the color is not very pigmented. I got more on my finger than I did on like a swatch. I'm not sure how I feel about it, um, I would probably put this over like an already dark shadow. It is a little bit disappointing to say that my highest compliment about it is the, um, the packaging and not the makeup itself. Second one, that is the butterfly. So this one is called, I think blue K is how you would say it. Like bokeh, like a bokeh, but blue K. Oh my God, this is going to be such a beautiful blue. Oh, this one's a lot more gel than what that silver was. That silver felt more like a powder. But this one definitely feels like a gel. Okay, so you really gotta layer it. Maybe that's what I did wrong because this looks a lot, a lot better once you layer it. That is really pretty actually. Ooh, she pops, she's there. Okay, so that's, pr I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna swatch the silver again because I feel like that might've been user error on that. Yeah, that's gonna stay. I'm gonna have to get makeup wipes in order to get that off on there. Oop. Yeah, when you press, you can press into it. Oh, it's really, really sparkly. It That looks a lot better. So I, that's my bad, guys. That's all on me. I just, I have long nails, so it's really difficult to dip in, but that was, that was why I didn't get a good squat, squatch. That was why I didn't get a good swatch the first time is because I was worried about it getting under my nails, but last one is... Mr. Skeleton here. This one is called Tears to Shed. And through the packaging, I can see it's a really pretty, like pearlescent white. Oh God, that is so beautiful. Oh, I love this one. I cannot wait to swatch this. This, I will use. I don't know what it is. That silver one might just be like a slightly different like formula or something. Cause it was just a different process swatching that. 
Oh my god, I really hope that the camera picks that up. As you can see, this one's definitely a lot more like liquidy because it's not like showing up the white on my finger as much as some of the other ones, but oh, oh she is present. I actually will use this one 100%. Overall, 10 out of 10 for the blue, 10 out of 10 for the white silver. Um, again, the gray, ah, still not the biggest fan of it, especially comparatively to its sisters. Like when you look at all of these three, the gray just really doesn't stand out. It's kind of just there. Packaging that's my favorite out of the three is scraps. So so we're gonna go ahead and go into the second shelf here. It looks like we have three lip stains, lipsticks, lip crayons, I'm not sure what, but three lip products in here. So let's go ahead and do those. Is a sort of a reddish, a pink, and then a coral from what I can see through the packaging. Okay, so these do have shade names. So just the lip balm didn't have a shade name, which I guess is fine. This is the red. This one is called Beating Heart. Ooh, it's so clean. I just sometimes I hate taking these out because like the packaging like the white around the packaging just looks so clean and then as soon as you take it out it's like it's not as pretty anymore but we got to because we're gonna swatch them when I was blonde reds were definitely my go-to but now that I'm a redhead it's kind of tricky whoa oh my god that is so pretty and so creamy oh my god my hand and I want to see if it's as pigmented if I, I hate using my fingers though I do pinky oh she's still there it's still pretty bright. Obviously, it's not as vibrant as it was when it was like freshly used and we will see how it dries down. Okay, so this is the pink, which looks super pretty. This I can most definitely wear. This one is called Rosy Cheeks. I think I actually have a color pretty similar to this or it's just like I have like a darker, darker version of this. This is it before I smooth it out. And then now I guess we'll do ring finger. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Yeah, I definitely have some shades that are pretty similar to this. So now you can see the red is drying down. This is the pink smoothed out. The red definitely got lighter as it dried. Okay, so last in here. Oh, the third shade is called Emily. That's cute. So this is the, well, it looked coral in the packaging, but maybe that is just like a light, light pink. No, it's coral. It is definitely coral. I definitely cannot wear this do not get me wrong it is a cute color um <laughs> there's zero chance i could wear that that is it and now i'm gonna smooth it out so that's it kind of smoothed out cute color just not for me i'm gonna let these dry for update i let these sit on my hand for the whole video and now that i'm done filming i'm trying to take it off and they're actually very um difficult to get off pros and cons take that as you will so we'll go ahead and just, I'll just show you these next. So it does come with a pair of lashes, which I don't wear lashes, but this is really cute packaging. Cause I thought that this might be a mini palette. It is not, um, it's a highlight. This is very like Emily heavy themed, like in the shade names and then even on the packaging. The only thing that Victor is on is the main big eyeshadow palette, which he's on there with her. So while this is like Corpse Bride, it's very like heavily Emily. So this says the Beaming Butterfly Highlighter slash highlighter beaming butterfly <laughs> why would you do that gonna be real cute what was that <gasps> oh my god it's holographic what does it switch to oh butterflies so it goes this way i'm like going like side to side being like what it's up and down oh my god oh ha <gasps> ha that is beautiful okay i was gonna say i feel like i can't swatch it but there's one little space there's one space for the butterflies aren't and that's what i'm going for it has like a blue sparkle undertone to it i really hope that that's throughout the highlight and just not just like a top coat Ooh, okay yes so i mean it is a highlight so it's not oh, oh my god look at how pearlescent and purple it looks on my finger okay i mean it's a highlighter so it's like it's apparent like when the light hits it and when it shifts it's very apparent but it's not like a color so the very last thing in this box is the palette i have no idea how many shades are in it uh, oh it's called the moonlight eyeshadow palette that's cute um, oh my god i'm gonna stop my rambling because this this is unexpected are you seeing what i'm seeing what the heck is this palette I did not expect that. That's actually really pretty. This is supposed to mirror like 
her wedding dress, I love the texture. I expected the front of the palette to look like this, you know? This confirms my statement that this is very heavily Emily themed. I'll let you look first. I got what? What? Okay, I'm sorry, I looked at the last one. This is so pretty. It looks like we have the first one is a silver, which is called Wedding Day. Everglot, butterflies. A lot of these colors are very dark. Victor's the matte gray. Dragari? I don't know. Is that what that says? Dreary. Oh my god. The font is really hard to read, but it's dreary. A very sparkly blue for Emily. Hopscotch. Oh, I like Victoria as well. That's a really pretty silver. It's definitely, it's close to dreary, but it's a lot prettier. Again with this font, man. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay. We have Van Dort, which is probably the ugliest color in this palette. Okay, I actually kind of like that they have a shade for Lord Barkas in here. So, um, and then the last one, which has the most impressive pressing on it, and I, w I don't even want to swatch it because I'm so impressed by it, for Land of the Dead. What I will say is these sparkle shades are very pretty. This is kind of not um, a very usable palette, in my opinion, um, because it's blues or grays. Okay, I was... I was kind of debating if I was going to do this or not, but give me one second. I will tell you, this is not the first time that I've actually bought a makeup collaboration with Corpse Bride. So Revolution actually did a brand with them as well. This is their palette that they did. Comparatively, I actually think that this is a better palette. So one, it has more shades, but this is also, this is just much more of a usable palette. A lot of blues in it, but there's like purples and pinks and there's, um, a gold and a silver. You tell me, but just as a whole, I definitely think that the Revolution palette is prettier and more usable than the She Glam one. I will say the shade names in this one are a little bit cuter. I like this packaging a lot more. The pressings are really cute. I just felt like bringing this out so I could just kind of show you and compare things and maybe, you know, we'll just sit here and, and think about how different brands take the same theming and do it differently. Back to She Glam because that's what this is about. As a whole, I am absolutely in love with this collection. I will be using the lipsticks if they don't clash with my hair. Um, definitely will be using that highlighter, but gonna be very careful not to ruin the pressing. I'm, I don't know, will I use any shades in here? I might use some of the sparkle shades. Hopscotch is probably my favorite shade in here, even though it's just a matte. I think that it's the prettiest color. Um, hmm. Let's see, to recap, I think my favorite things in here actually were the gel shadows. Um, I definitely am gonna use two out of three of them. I'm gonna try to find a use for that blue because that blue is so pretty. It's honestly really close to Emily in the main eyeshadow palette as well, but you know, I feel less bad about using <laughs> the gel and I think that it's actually uh, more vibrant than a powder. But overall, just aesthetically, this is a very pretty presentation set. I am. 100% glad to add this to my collection. Definitely worth the money because um, it wasn't that expensive. The only thing that I was maybe a little bit disappointed on is the color range of the eyeshadow palette. That's it. So that's why I'm gonna dock it a point. Instead of giving it a 10 out of 10, um, I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10. Such a fun experience to open this. And I hope that you guys enjoyed it too. Please let me know what your favorite products were and what you think is the most usable. I am very curious to actually hear other people's opinions on the eyeshadow palette. Am I just being like too harsh? Would you find those shades very usable? Let me know. So that is everything in the She Glam Corpse Bride makeup collaboration. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you giving me your time and I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed filming it.